Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. The question is, what do I do with all my tomatoes, or what do you do with your tomatoes at the end of the season when, you know, the frost is coming? I make sauce. I'm going to show you how to do it. I've highlighted that in other videos, but it's real simple. Tomatoes is the main base. We're not going to do any special canning or processing. I'm going to show you how to take it from here, get it into a pot, simmer it down, reduce it, and then it goes right into a Ziploc bag just like this. You want a double seal bag, a freezer bag, put the sauce in after it cools and you freeze it. And you can use it all fall, winter, spring long until the next season of tomatoes come in. This is a base sauce basically. So that means that you can just put in tomatoes and then you can add in onions if you like. You can add in peppers. You can even use green tomatoes if you have some on the vine. You can put in eggplant, squash, zucchini, but you're basically making a pasta sauce. So let me show you how, how to do it. You take, obviously, pick your tomatoes. Take the ones that are ugly, that are beat up, and you're just going to cut those pieces away. Chunk them up, drop them into a pan, and then we'll get them onto the stove, and I'll, I'll explain the next step. So everything you saw was able to get into the pot. This is going to start rendering down with about this much liquid in there. The tomatoes will soften up and we're going to reduce this all the way down to about here until it becomes like a nice thick sauce consistency. So the number one tip is do not put any seasoning in here. Don't put in any salt, pepper, anything like that. You can put in your vegetables. I'm going to put in four cloves of garlic. Add in some olive oil as much as you'd like. And the reason you don't put any of the seasoning in now, if you were to salt this you know, to taste when there's this much liquid in here and then it reduces down over a couple of hours. This is going to be a several hour process. It's going to be way too salty, way too spicy. So all the salts, peppers, and spices are really going to go, go, are going to go in at the end. Once this is rendered down, we let it cool. It goes into the Ziploc bag. And this one got a little bit wrinkled, but you can lay these flat and they'll freeze solid and they really don't take up a lot of space. Once they are flat, you can put them up on their side and you can really put them, uh, fit them nicely into your freezer. You can already hear it starting to boil. Just set it to medium high. You can even go high, uh, to the high setting and watch it boil. No lid. You want the liquid to evaporate. So we're going to reduce this down. It'll be a several hour process. Now, once it's been boiling for a while, you can take your hand blender, your immersion blender, and then we're going to puree, it, puree this down. We don't remove the skin. This is a real easy way to make a sauce. If you don't have the hand blender, you can let this reduce down. It'll be a little bit chunky. You can still freeze it. And then in the future, you can do what you want with the sauce. You can puree it down then, you know, leave it a rustic chunky style, however you want to do it. But this is a great way to process your tomatoes and vegetables without having to do canning or any kind of process like that. So let's this start to uh, work its way down to a boil or up to a boil and then work its way down to a nice thick sauce. So this is what it looks like obviously when it starts to boil and it's about that much liquid in there. Reduce it to about medium heat, medium high and this is going to reduce down for an hour and a half or so till it gets down to about here and then we'll puree it. Remember don't put the lid on here. We want the water to evaporate out, let the flavors concentrate, let it reduce. This is a good pace for the boil when you have this much liquid in there. As it thickens up, this much heat is going to make the sauce really splash and pop and it's going to go all over the place. So you'll have to reduce the heat more. But more importantly, when there's this much liquid in here, you can just stir this about every 30 minutes or so. Just make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. But as it reduces down, reduce the heat and stir it a little more often because you just want to make sure nothing's burning down on the bottom. So at this point it's reduced by nearly half. You could let it go a little bit longer. There are seeds in here. If you don't like tomato seeds you could remove them before you drop the tomatoes in and actually that would make a little bit less water in here and this is going to um, render down much more quickly. Also if you're going to add in herbs you want to put them in at the end too. If you put herbs in early all the oils and essential flavors and all that will really just get destroyed with all this boiling. So put them in at the end. Put in the blender. It's going to take about two minutes to take care of this. And at this point, you're just going to watch it. This is when you want to bring the heat down. This will burn a little bit more easily now that it's thickened up. And you can just reduce this as far as you want. I like to have a pretty thick sauce, so I'm going to bring it down again maybe by half. 
but now it's up to you and we're not going to season until the end for the reasons I've stated. So this is a pretty nice thickness. This has been going for maybe three hours to four hours. You want to go slow and low and I can't stress enough. Some of you are going to want to go slow and low and you won't have any problem with it sticking or burning on the bottom. Some of you are going to want to rush. So you really do have to check on it, stir it, and the thicker it gets, the more often you have to stir. So this is almost to where I want it to be. I'm going to want it to maybe reduce maybe a quarter more, thicken up a little bit, but you could freeze it now. Now you don't even have to season this right now. You don't need to add any oregano, salt, chives, thyme, whatever you have. You don't need to put in there. You can just freeze it because the whole goal was to really store, so to speak, all those tomatoes and peppers, get them to a place where you can use them over the fall and winter, and then when you defrost them and you're good to use them, that's when you can add in your spices. But it's getting there, it's pretty close. One tip I want to show you is because you're reducing down so many tomatoes and some tomatoes are more acidic, this might be have too much acidity to it. So if you get just a little bit of baking soda, don't overdo it, drop it in, you're going to see that it's starting to foam. That's going to neutralize some of the acidity and it won't be as well as acidic. Don't overuse the baking soda or it's going to put a flavor in there that you don't want, but just a little bit is a nice trick to reduce the acidity of your tomato sauces. Okay, let's just, let's, yeah, let's have this render down to where I want it, reduce down, and we'll store it. So once it's to the thickness that you want, pour it into a bowl and we're going to let it cool down before we get it into the uh, Ziploc bag. You, again, don't over season it. I like to just put in basic, you know, a couple pinches of salt, pepper, and oregano at this point. If you're boiling, you know, you're still simmering, you're boiling your sauce down with oregano, with your thyme, with basil in there, the flavor is just going to boil away. I like to keep this basic because I'm just freezing it when I take it out and use it over the winter for a specific dish, I'll add in my fresh herbs and season it to match the dish that I'm making. And that's all you need to do. It's a nice thick sauce. We're going to let this cool down and we're going to get it into the Ziploc bag. Now, the easiest way I've found to do this is with two people, of course, but if you don't have a second person, just put your Ziploc bag, make sure it has two strips on there, into a vase or a pitcher, use a ladle, and you're just going to fill it up like that. Now we're not going to overfill this. We want this to be able to freeze flat, almost look like a thick book when it's done, and then we can just store it in any direction we want in our freezer. So let me finish this up and we'll get to the storage. So you're going to fill this about halfway. You can see there's a place to write the date on what's the in the contents. When you fill this up, there's going to be air in the bag. You just open up a space about the size of my thumb right there, and then you would squeeze the air out and then seal it. Again, I'm going to say it, double strip in here. You don't want this to leak anywhere, and having two strips is definitely worth it. And in fact, most of the bags come like that, and they're not that expensive. Once it's filled, you're going to clear out a space in your freezer. Put a piece of paper towel down. You don't want this freezing to um, the freezer. Let this get to room temperature before you put it in, and you would just drop it on there like that. And you can see it doesn't take up a lot of space. Let it freeze like this. If you want to put more on there, there's enough for at least one more bag. Put another paper towel on there, and you would just stack your sauce in the Ziploc bags just like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some idea how to process all the tomatoes out of your garden along with other vegetables. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. I'll be doing videos uh, on cooking, recipes, making drinks, all kinds of different things, barbecuing with everything you take out of your vegetable garden. Thanks for watching.